So I wanted to, yeah, you know, I wanted to talk about arrival. I saw it two weeks ago and um, I didn't get a chance to properly do a review on it, so I'm gonna now, uh, by the seat of my pants, kind of go over the film. This camera's pointing over there. I'm over, I'm over here. Come on, come on. Yeah. Is that better? That's a little better. I wanted to just give my thoughts on the movie quick, uh, starring Jeremy, Jeremy Renner and Amy Adams, who uh, they're both completely phenomenal in it, especially Amy Adams. She really sells the picture. The director did uh, Sicario, and I, I didn't really like that movie. I thought it was really overhyped, and it was just kind of a mediocre affair. I guess I didn't just, it didn't click with me. I didn't get what everybody thought was so great. I gotta take a drink of milk here. Remember when I first saw the trailer for Arrival, I thought, all right, another alien movie. Kind of looks like Independence Day with the different ships being placed all over the world. I, I didn't think for a second it was going to be like Independence Day outside of that concept of the aliens docking and we don't know what they're there for. And I'm glad it wasn't. I enjoy Independence Day from a fluff level, from a stupid Hollywood blockbuster level. I know it's dumb and I know it's corny, but it's still, it still, it gets me every time. It's just, it's just fun. This is the polar opposite of Independence Day. It is a well-written, well-acted, well-directed, well-executed film from top to bottom. It, it gives you twists and turns. It, it leaves you hanging on things. You, you're just waiting for, uh, for the next moment to really awaken your mind. And you're like, oh, that's what this is all about. Okay. The, the film surprised me on a lot of levels. I liked how it was shot, first off. Uh, my wife complained for like 20 minutes into the movie. She turned to me and she said, I don't like how the camera's kind of in focus and out, out of focus on background and foreground elements. And all I'm thinking is, yeah, it is a little strange. I mean, I've seen that done before, but this is a lot more aggressive. And as the movie progressed, and there will be spoilers in this, this movie's a couple weeks old now. Um, if you're watching this review, it's most likely because you saw the movie and just want to hear what I had to say. I loved it. Um, it, it dawned on me that this was an intentional tactic that the director did because it just helps tell the story even further of this woman who nothing is clear in her life. Things are out of focus. And I, I can guarantee that's what the director was trying to convey there. And as, as the film unfolds and the story um, becomes more clear, so does the picture itself. As a father, this was an extremely emotional movie for me. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it is emotional for others too, even if you don't have kids. But for me, it really is, it resonated a lot uh, with, with the, you know, losing the daughter early on in the film. And anytime a movie starts with a kid dying, I mean, come on, you're cheating with the emotions. You know you're gonna, you know you're gonna uh, put some tears in the eyes of the crowd. It reminded me of, it reminded me of the uh, beginning of Up, the first five or ten minutes of Up that's super sad and depressing and it really sets the table for what's to come. Uh, you never really, it, it takes a while to get out of that kind of gross intro and that bad feeling you get, but it also puts you in the shoes of the protagonist and what's going through her mind. What's even more clever about it, of course, is that's the beginning and the end of the film, but not in a traditional movie sense, not, not like, in a, like in a fight club where it's it's teasing the ending at the beginning because there is no real ending to Arrival. She, she, the, the Arrival is her, her mind opening up and arriving at the outcome that is um, this alien technology that's been given to humans. Basically the ability to unlock our minds and realize that we're not just on this uh, beginning to end timeline. There, everything is everywhere. You can go back and access past history events to unlock future events, so on and so forth. And I thought it was, it was just so well done. I can't, I can't get over how good it was. Uh, it, it's, it's one of those movies that I don't have a problem scoring it a 10 out of 10. I, I give those to movies that either A, are extremely rewatchable, like a Dumb and Dumber, a stupid comedy that some people are snooty and they're like, you can't give a comedy like that a 10 out of 10 I, fuck, yeah, fuck yes I can it, do, it sets out and does exactly what it wants to do which is make me laugh my ass off have a lot of quotable lines it put Austin Powers and Zoolander and 
uh, Happy Gilmore, one of the few Adam Sandler movies worth watching, and uh, some of those 90s comedies are in that boat. I grew up, you know, with, with the uh, 80s and 90s comedies, so I'm, I'm very biased to those, and I, I, will, I will admit that fully. My point is, Arrival makes you think when you leave the theater, much like The Matrix did, which is a 10 out of 10, much like Inception did, much like uh, Fight Club did for me, and these are all very rewatchable movies. I don't know if Arrival is necessarily a movie I need to watch again, because I just had this experience that was, was great, and, and uh, I got what I needed out of it. I got my money's worth, and I'll be talking about the movie for years to come with people. Uh, Mad Max is a 10 out of 10 for me. It, it, the Movies that transport you into their world do leaps and bounds more than you expect the film to do, uh, show great acting, um, visuals, everything like that. The music really comes together and makes this complete package that uh, I just... That, that's why I go to the movies. I'm glad I, I feel good that I did this. I see it's snowing pretty hard outside. I got my fire roaring. I got my cup of milk. I got my pie. I'm going to finish this, have a nice little relaxing afternoon, get back to work for my real job, and uh, yeah, take care. We'll see you next time.